In this video, we're going to be going over how to scan on a new Sharp MFP. On your home screen, you may see icons for network folder, email, or both. Regardless of the one that you choose, the scanning interface is going to look exactly the same. You're just choosing the destination of whether you're sending to a network folder or to an email address. In this video, I'm going to be demonstrating how to scan to an email. The first thing we want to do is choose our destination. So at the top left, we can find our address book, and this is where we can save any email addresses. To save a new address, select Add New on the right. From here, put in the contact's name, and at the bottom, put in the contact's email address. When both of these have been inputted, select Register when you're done, and we'll save the new contact to the address book. To choose a destination, highlight the contact name and press OK. You should see the recipient of the scan populated up top. Since we are scanning to an email address, we can add a subject and we can also change the file name. This is a great feature because when you send a scan, whether to a network folder or to an email address, that attachment will already be named with what you've named it here at the device. Again, since we are scanning to an email address, we can select Options, and here we can add a body of text. Off to the left, you have your color mode, and this can be left set to Auto since it will detect whether you have color or black and white, and Mono 2 is a smaller file size. The next setting is our resolution. Typically, this is set around 200 dpi, which means dots per inch. This is going to be just fine for text documents. If we're ever scanning any photos or images, we can go all the way up to 600 dpi, which will give you the max resolution of the image. Our next setting is file format. From here, we can reformat our document right from the MFP. So we can send as a PDF, which is most common, or if we're scanning any photos or images, we can reformat them as a TIFF or a JPEG. Also in this setting, we can choose to encrypt our document. When you check the encryption box, after you hit start, the Sharp will prompt you to create a five-digit PIN here at the device. When yourself or your recipient receives that attachment in either the network folder or their email, you'll see the attachment, but you'll have to put in that PIN that you've created in order to access the document. Lastly, a great feature in here is specify pages per file. Say for example I have 10 pages of invoices in my document feeder, and I know that every second page is a new invoice. I can select specify pages per file and specify every two sheets. So in my email or my network folder, I'm going to receive five attachments from the scan. So it's a way for me to put in everything in the document feeder at once, know how I want it broken up, and then automatically break up into separate attachments. Our next setting is our original setting tab. And this is where we can go to select two-sided for scanning. Typically, you want to select two-sided booklet so it opens right to left. Our last tab is our exposure setting. In here, we can manually lighten or darken our document. Typically, we can leave this set to auto or we can manually say what our original is. The last part of this video is going to be going into the Others tab and covering some of our advanced functions in scanning. The first is Job Build. This is a beneficial feature that allows us to combine multiple jobs into one. For example, this is most commonly used when we're scanning a job that's larger than the document feeder can hold. Say your document feeder holds 150 originals, but you need to scan a 300 page job. Job Build will prompt you to load those first 150 sheets through and then give you a read end message. You want to ignore the read end message because you're going to scan your next 150 sheets through and hit start. Once you're done, you select read end and everything will send off as one attachment rather than multiple attachments for the multiple times that you loaded the job into the feeder. The next advanced feature is slow scan mode. This is a nice feature if you're concerned about the quality of your original. Let's say your original document has dog ears on it or it was folded. When you select slow scan mode, it's going to go through the device slowly and be less likely for a misfit or jam, all the while capturing your image. The last advanced setting we're going to go over in this video is mix size original. This is a really great feature if you have mixed sizes in your document feeder, say 8.5 by 11 and 11 by 17, but you want them to stay in those sizes. 
If you select Mix Size Original, it's going to keep them in the original size. That's going to be it for how to scan on your new Sharp MFP. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please feel free to contact your Centric Corporate Trainer.